What is up, hashtag Salaman Squad? It is Trainer Cardo here with another video, and today I'm going to be opening my two favorite sets in Sword and Shield, Lost Origin and Evolving Skies. I managed to find these Evolving Skies packs at retail price at Target. Um, unfortunately, this might be one of the last Evolving Skies videos on the channel just because Evolving Skies is becoming such a hot set, and so many people are buying it for just crazy amounts of money. So I'm trying not to overspend on Evolving Skies. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to go out and buy, like, booster boxes are selling for 200 to 240 a piece already, and that's crazy for a set that is a little less than a year old. So, without further ado, we're going to jump into this. And I think what I'm going to do is switch off uh, each pack starting with Evolving Skies. Now, out of this set, I have a lot of the chase cards. I think, for me, I also want to see if this is set one or two. Oh, this is the first print run. So, that's very interesting. I don't know if all of these are from the first print run, but at least that one was. So, that definitely changes things up rate-wise for us. Um, again, some of the cards that I'm still needing are... Right, I managed to pause the video when I did that, but I'm still looking for a few cards. I'm still looking for... Um, the Rayquaza full art, the Rayquaza regular alt art. Um, so those are two that I'm definitely after. I mean, a Moonbrion is obviously one that you'd want to get, but a Galarian Maltrace holographic for that. Okay, being in the first print run, um, for some of these, maybe telling. Um, maybe we have a better shot at some cards that we might not have picked up before. Uh, I know that the second batch is actually tougher on pull rates. Electric, Phantom, Basculin, Inke, Spinarak, Paris, a Radiant Gardevoir, and a Cresselia. I actually really like that Cresselia Hollow. Um, haven't seen too much of it. So, I mean, both packs starting out with a hit, um, but nothing, nothing too big. So, we're going to try to avoid looking at code cards colors because we don't want to give anything away but here we go leaf energy uh i mean any alt art from this set would be incredible the odds are very 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 slim to none eevee and for us regular rare and just to make sure yeah that is a uh, solid green code card so we are looking at at least for this stack um the old school print run which is pretty cool you don't see that all the time um, it's getting harder to find, especially. Seedra, Panic Mask, Dottler, Love Disc, Oddish, Litwick, Jinx, Pikachu, a Litleo, and a Malmar, regular rare. Uh, Lost Origin, still after the Aerodactyl for alt arts. Um, otherwise, the... Do I have... I don't know if I have the Pikachu, not VMAX, but the regular Pikachu in English. Um, that would definitely be one. Um, the three, oh, okay, well, I kind of, I don't know what the card trick would be now because I screwed that up, but we are looking at a Sylveon VMAX for, uh, Evolving Skies, which is a great hit. VMAX is out of Evolving Skies, I'll take those any day of the week. Um, uh, really messed up that transition there. But, uh, yeah, as for Lost Origin goes, um, Aerodactyl, uh, I mean, any of the Pikachus. I still I still love all the Pikachus in that set. I already have the VMAX. I'd like another one, maybe. Um, I think for characters, that's all of them. Um, I don't think I'm missing any besides those. And then, or actually Roserade. I do need a Roserade regular trainer gallery. Uh, for some reason, I've managed to open probably a case worth of Ancient Origins and not pull that. Which, or, you know, just Lost Origin and not pulled out, which is kind of crazy. Alright. Treasure Energy, Wombafet, Hopip, Swablu, Zorua, Kragolina, Zorua again, any Marshadow. So we're getting hits on these Evolving Skies packs, but they're not, they're not the hits that you want. I mean, so far the best hit of the day has been from that Evolving Skies pack, so that's definitely great to see. But I think the 
the careless sisters I, I don't remember exactly what the sisters were called but the three sisters in regular rare or rainbow rare for this set would be great cast form and a gudra v-star there's a nice double banger pack another reason why ancient origins ancient, oh my god i'm gonna be saying ancient origins the whole video now uh lost origins is one of my favorite sets um, trainer gallery just makes it so much more fun to open packs uh now i'm actually going to flip this over just because all right green code card these were from a different stack so i was wondering maybe if uh they wouldn't would be like the older um it would be the newer set but it looks like they're also older so this whole thing is from the old print run for evolving skies and that's great we're at the halfway mark of these packs um nothing too too crazy really this has been a pretty standard opening some V Max and a V Star here and there, but nothing, nothing too big. Oh, Misfortune Sisters. This in the full art, and I think in the Rainbow Rare, are both two very nice cards that I'd like to have. Tynamo, Honchkrow, and a Manectrike. Maybe I'll have to go back to that target again and see. Uh, they had no like Evolving Skies ETBs or anything. It was strictly just these loose packs. Um, which I kind of like. I do find that if I were to get 36 of these, I feel like that's a better pull rate than like a booster box. Sometimes um, you can get really lucky, you can get really unlucky. Salamance and a pincer. But, but I've had pretty good luck with the hanger packs for the most part. Now we're down to our last handful of packs here, and I'd like something definitely a little bit bigger than what we've been getting. Uh, v Star, Gloom, Riley, Electrike. Inke, Porygon, Roserade, Clefairy, Slugma, Poliwhirl, and a Kiram V card. One secret rare from this set would be great. Super, 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 super low odds that we even sniff a secret rare. I mean, a VMAX in itself is already a pretty decent pull for only open six packs so far this is our seventh low tad jump fluff and a falapple all right we're down to our last two packs of each um and again this was uh lost origin was from an etb these were just regular sleever uh hanger packs so one was premeditated the other i got to choose my packs and see if i could pull anything and so far uh, it's been all right. I mean, nothing too crazy. I wouldn't freak out about this opening just yet. But another big hit would be great from either of the packs, preferably Evolving Skies. Pumpkaboo, Carvana, Fletchling, oh, Temple, Treasure Energy, and an uh, Arctivish. So we did manage to get a hit out of that pack. We're down to our last hit from each pack, from each uh, set. We've only gotten one spot in the, uh, another V-Star, uh, only one slot in the uh, trainer gallery so far. So hopefully we can do something better about that. Manetrike and a Bioplume. Down to our last Evolving Skies pack. Great to come away with something here end this video on a high note uh the moonbrion the rayquaza any of those cards would be great to see a miscut i know some of these have had uh factory issues before so any of that a boost shaker and a kiram holographic card so interestingly enough out of those nine packs we did get Four of them were, were hit packs, um, so can't really complain all too much. I'm going to go sort these out. All right, so we have a Radiant Gardevoir, Arctivish V, Kiram V, Cast Form Trainer Gallery, a Hisuian Gujar V-Star, and a Sylveon V-Max, which was by far our best pull of the day and best pull from the Evolving Skies. But let me know what you guys thought. Let me know how your luck has been finding Evolving Skies for, you know, retail price, a good price. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.